What's up guys, Ergonix here, and in this video, you might recall a couple of days ago, I uploaded a video showing off Kevin G's Chroma Visualizer. Now, he has updated this and added a whole bunch of stuff, most of which was requested, which is fantastic. He went above and beyond with this version, and I wanted to show it to you guys. Uh, the link to his website will be down below in the description. And when you get here and you're going to download the file, make sure you take that five extra seconds, use his AdFly links, and show him some support for releasing something so awesome. Now, I'm going to show you guys what he's done when you first open it. He has a little reminder to make sure Synapse is closed. All right, mine's closed. I can open this up, choose your device, click start, play some music. Now, the biggest addition, I think, is probably this sensitivity meter here, or se sensitivity setting. You can set it to low, default, or high. High is, like, really high. I generally just leave it on default, however. And he has also added a preset and gradient color mode. Now, the preset, you just come in here, pick a preset. I like his cold, icy one but nothing is quite as cool as the random. This one is something else. This one is crazy. The fires below and overgrowth are a couple little ones I did just screwing around. Nothing special. Now, if you go change it to the gradient color mode, you get this tab here. Well, the tab's always here, but you get you come over here and you change things. So let's pick pick green and how about red now let's go blue hit the create gradient button and bam it just creates the gradient for you you can set the background color let's make it hot pink yeah you can't really see the visualizer effects with hot pink can you but yeah it's super easy to use it's all sa saved and everything so now that I've shown you what's in here, I'm going to show you guys how to change or create your own presets. I'm going to set this to cold ice. All right. Eh, no. There we go. So head on into the presets folder. And you can open any of these with whatever text editor you want to use. Uh, I'm going to use Notepad++. Now, it is literally this easy, okay? You give it a name. You add the six different gradient or six different colors. Uh, the first row is the bottom row with the spacebar on the keyboard, and the last row is the top row with the F keys. And then a background color. That is literally how easy it is. Enter the red, the blue, the green. It, it is silly easy. And it's even more easy if you go into the custom gradient you mess around in here and then you just pick the color and you can see the number of the values you gotta give it right here it's, it's crazy easy so like I said Kevin G has done phenomenal work on this when you go download it be sure to use his adfly links it's literally like seven seconds if you include the time it takes to load the page and click and all that so show him your support he deserves it so if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, go download his thing, uh, subscribe if you want to, and just keep being awesome, guys. This Chroma community that's been growing has been fantastic. So thanks for tuning in, guys.